Good morning from Mission Control Houston and welcome to today's International Space Station update. You're looking now inside of the International Space Station flight control room at the Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas. Uh, looking down is the Orbit 2 team monitoring all of the systems flying on board this orbiting laboratory. Today that team being led by Flight Director Tomas Gonzalez Torres. Joining him in the blue there, Mark Regan serving as the CAPCOM. We'll be talking to our astronauts uh, up in space today. And those astronauts, the crew of Expedition 34, uh, in their final week is uh, the crew of 34. They're being led by NASA astronaut Kevin Ford there in the front row on the left, who's in his final day as Expedition 34 commander. Immediately behind him, two Russian cosmonauts, Oleg Novitsky and Evgeny Tarelkin. Uh, and then moving across, we have a third Russian cosmonaut, Roman Romanenko. Uh, in the front row there, uh, Canadian Chris Hatfield, who will be taking command of the space station a little bit later today. And all the way on the right there, another NASA astronaut, Tom Marshburn. Busy day for the crew as three of our uh, Expedition 34 astronauts begin to uh, prep for their uh, homecoming a little bit later this week. Uh, these three, Kevin Ford, Oleg Novitsky, and Evgeny Tarelkin, will be departing the International Space Station uh, tomorrow night uh, as they come home in their Soyuz TMA-06M spacecraft, wrapping up 143 days in space and 141 days on board the station. You can see a quick timeline of all those events tomorrow as we'll be bringing you live coverage here on NASA TV, uh, kicking off with farewell and hatch closure in the uh, mid-afternoon. Uh, that final landing coverage starting at about 9.45 p.m. Central Time, all setting up for a planned landing of 10.57 p.m. in Kazakhstan. Meanwhile, on board, uh, Commander Kevin Ford is uh, hard at work doing some final departure work, uh, getting his things in order. He'll also be transferring some uh, supplies and experiment samples into the Dragon spacecraft and doing a quick inspection of the uh, Melfi cold box. Melfi is one of the freezers on board the station, the minus 80 degree laboratory. Uh, it's used to store a number of biological samples from uh, the research experiments being uh, done on board. Uh, so that'll uh, occupy most of Commander Ford's day today. Uh, moving on, Oleg Novitsky is uh, in the final stages of some cardiovascular exercise, which he uh, was participating in yesterday and is continuing today. Uh, it's just uh, all part of an ongoing Russian experiment as they continue to track how these astronauts' bodies adapt and uh, are changed during long-duration space flights. He'll also be on the hook to stow a number of items inside of their Soyuz craft as it does have uh, some down-mass capability. Uh, they'll be returning in again that TMA-06M, which you can see docked uh, to the space-facing side of the station, uh, currently docked to Poisk. Uh, and again, he'll be uh, packing up a few items in there in preparation for that homecoming tomorrow. Meanwhile, uh, our third Soyuz crew member who will be returning, Evgeny Tarelkin, is collecting a number of uh, air and microbial samples throughout the Russian segment today. He'll be inside of the Zvezda service module and also Zarya, checking the air for any traces of ammonia and freon and also the CO2 levels. And he'll also be uh, doing that same cardiovascular exercise that Davitsky's participating in as well. Our third Russian cosmonaut, Roman Romanenko, is inside of the Rosviet module this morning, uh, also known as the Mini Research Module 1. He's changing out some of the smoke detectors. Also, uh, just a little while ago, got some time inside of the Cubo module to participate in a Russian public affairs event, speaking with reporters on the ground. Meanwhile, a man with a fairly big day today, Chris Hadfield, uh, scheduled to become the first Canadian commander of the International Space Station a little bit later today. Commander Kevin Ford, our current Expedition 34 commander, will formally hand over uh, the baton, as you will, to Chris Hadfield, uh, beginning his command of the International Space Station, which he will remain for Expedition 35. You can catch that change of command ceremony later this afternoon here on NASA TV at 4.10 p.m. Central Time, 5.10 p.m. Eastern. Aside from that change of command ceremony, Chris Hadfield will uh, be working on upgrading the software which controls the Window Observational Research Facility, uh, one of the many camera systems on board the station used for Earth observations. He's also on the hook to do some cargo work with that, uh, tr uh, that Dragon vehicle. Our final Expedition 34 crew member, Tom Marshburn, uh, spending most of his day today working on the capillary flow experiment. Uh, you can see it here, the capillary flow experiment, uh, a 
is a suite of uh, various fluid physics experiments. Uh, it focuses on how fluids move up surfaces and microgravity uh, as the microgravity environment of that International Space Station affects many of the properties of liquids. Uh, all of these results gathered from this test hope to improve the current computer models that are used by designers down here on the ground as they develop uh, low gravity and microgravity fluid systems uh, could potentially have some impacts on improving these systems uh, for fuel transfer and also water and other fluids on future spacecraft.